sole c'è la luna, brille strette, strette come tutto, bella pasteggia. Sotto il cielo di Roma. Hi, I'm your Uncle Frank. Who are your favorite cousins? My cousins, um, my cousin Sonny. Um, Sonny, he was, he was fabulous. And uh, uh, my Uncle Dominic, my, my cousin Dominic. I mean, there, there's so many of them. I mean, there were so many of them. And because um, uh, my mother and her sisters and brothers, are, they're, they're, they're like a, a year apart. So we're really, you know, we'd have a, a family picnic. I left, it, I left uh, Chicago in 61. And every year we'd go back for family picnic. And we'd go to the forest preserves. And we'd have games. And, uh, and my mother was the oldest sister. So she was the matriarch. And my, my brother-in-law would have this big, gigantic chair. Like in, in, the, in the movies where King George sits there. And uh, everybody would come up to her, and it was great. It was fabulous. Um, you know, the, my mother made meals every day. Maybe not breakfast, but it was lunch and dinner. And uh, she would be cooking meatballs and freeze them. Uh, she would, you know, just in, in those days. I mean, everything was fresh. I mean, we go to the market every day. We got fresh lettuce, and I go to the bakery, the Leo's Bakery on Taylor Street, and I go get the warm bread. My mother say, go get a pound and a half, okay? So I go get a pound and a half, and as I'm walking home, and I'm starting to eat the bread, by the time I got home, it was gone. My mother says, where's the bread? I says, oh, I ate it. Gee, go back and get another one. <laughs> it was great. It was simple, but it was just, I think it was magical. That's for me, okay? And uh, a lot of my peers feel the same way. Again, we, we miss the old days, but life goes on. What can I tell you? Como bella c'è la luna, brille strette, strette como tutto, bella pasteggia. Sotto il cielo di Roma